Hi everybody, welcome back to the program. Switching gears just a little bit, a big promotion by In Your Face Productions again. I'm very fortunate to have Justin Verde on the set with me. Along with Justin is Kip Butcher. And I didn't, you know, when Kip came up, I'm thinking, I know this guy, linebacker at H.O. Bourgeois. Ironically enough, a lot of you guys have ties to high school sports way back when, Justin. Yeah. As uh, and I say this every time you give you come on to give you a plug, the most valuable player in District 8 5A when yeah. he played over at South Terrebonne, Justin as a fullback over at South Terrebonne High School. Run us through what you got going on on July 9th. We got some ultimate fight I'm gonna doing. Uh, I'm making the comeback, of my first fight in two years. Um, so. Um, I'm not gonna make it too big. I'm not the main event. Lanny Dodar is like he's the biggest prospect right now. Um, got big fights coming up, so uh, he's gonna be the main event, and hopefully he wins this fight and goes on to a big fight next to UFC or something. You know, so we're working on that one. Very good, Kip. Your involvement in it that night? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, making my fight again. Uh, I took about a six month layoff. Uh, I had broke my hand and everything, but um, I'm feeling pretty confident. I actually trained. Uh, harder than I was uh, before. And um, it's just coming up, uh, going, you know, training with Justin. It's, uh, it's been spectacular getting ready, getting ready for this one, though. Are you still on amateur status? Or? Yes, uh, I'm still an amateur. Uh, I'm going to get a few more fights under my belt and then uh, try to at least uh, fight for a belt um, and defend it once or twice. But uh, uh, after a couple of fights, I'll probably be fighting, going pro. Very good. Now, the official name... Throw down on the Bayou Four. So obviously you've had this before. It's going to be at the East Bingo Hall, which is on Grand Coyote Road. For you folks familiar with Homa, on the east side of Homa, and uh, you can get tickets right there at the door if you go to the yeah, door. Yeah, you can right? get them at the door. You can come to Extreme Mixed Martial Arts. Extreme and is on Lafayette. Very easy to find yeah. there because uh, you guys did a good job of fixing that place up. Yeah, it's um, still getting better as we go, and bringing in better fighters and uh, keeping a lot of kids off the streets, getting them in the right direction and I and I must say I was going to go on to talk a little bit more about the flyer here but you are right because people I talk to and for you folks who you know the perception that you may have of Justin when he's up there because Justin is shy he is one of the <laughs> nicest fellas you are ever going to meet and uh does a good job with teaching those skills and I think the most important thing is what you just said as a lot of kids that were maybe slacking in school a little bit and stuff and when they go to you they get rejuvenated yeah. uh yeah. wouldn't you say yeah we we do I check their report cards and they come in as they I give them a little uh I condition them if they come in with bad grades or whatnot and then I'll give them a little layoff if they don't uh fix it for the next semester very good um, but other than that they uh do well in the, in the gym very good. On the flyer, and I'm going to run down the line, and maybe you could tell me if you know exactly who's fighting who. Lanny is going to be the main event, Lanny Dardar, who is also a good football player yeah. also. Uh, Lanny is <clears throat> fighting. He's fighting Marvin B. out of Oklahoma. is coming down to fight him. Okay. Um, and I'll be fighting a guy out of, um, out of Baton Rouge, Mike Roy. Mike Roy. Yeah, Kibbs could be fighting, um, what's his name again? Billy Fredericks. Billy Fredericks. Um, he's coming out of Mississippi also. And most of the other guys that's fighting, fighting guys from New Orleans, uh, Mississippi, uh, you know, Florida. How do you do that within your crew? Obviously, you know your fighters. Do these guys all come from one particular club, or do they just different promoters have these different fighters? So many different kind of clubs that I call. Um, I deal with different kind of gyms from all over the world, from Oklahoma. You see Oklahoma, Florida, Mississippi, Texas. Um, and I call them up and tell them to, to try to make the best match that we can with the weights and the experience. And we try to make up the best match we can. And like Kip's fighting a guy with four fights, just like he got four fights. In right, him, you, you would know? never put Kip in a situation where it's some guy who's got 25 fights and no, he's no. going to be a pro yeah, next year. Because at the same time, you're trying to put on a good show for the people, and but you want a good fight no matter what. For You don't want to mismatch somebody and get them hurt or anything like that. So you try to make a match evenly matched have a good show for the crowd, and hopefully they can pull off the win to make, to the, make it to the next level. No boxing in this particular? No, this will be all mixed martial arts. Um, everything might have a couple of kids do a little two match in there, um, but everything's going to be mixed martial arts, no boxing on this one. So okay. a lot of excitement that people like to see, and that's what we're going to give them. Very good. We're going to take a commercial break. We're going to come back talk about some of the sponsors who are helping you out. Also going to talk about what's going on at the gym. Also going to talk about your kids who are boxing because I know they go to Golden Gloves and stuff. So there's a lot going on. We'll talk about all of that stuff when we get back from this break with Justin Verde.